Hello. Yeah. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very important concept that is coming up in modern medicine and all over the world, and is extremely relevant for you all, because as the first responder who sees a patient, you are going to be involved in giving the point of care treatment and the point of care testing. More than the urban setting, it is more relevant for people in rural areas, small towns, where investigations. Labs are not easily available and you have to wait for diagnosis. The idea is that we want less of people to come to hospitals, be treated at home and as a practitioner, you are able to get some diagnosis on the spot. A lot of people are not able to travel from the village to the town or to a near primary health center where there is no lab. So now technology has come to such a level that you will be getting your results on the mobile phone. You have just have to follow the guidelines given by the kits that are available and thereafter you get to know whether it's typhoid, with tuberculosis, helicobacter infection, streptococcal infection, salmonella infection, anything that is commonly seen in the practice of general medicine. So people abroad now, they want less of people to come to hospitals. The reason why you want to not people come to the hospital is because hospital is a very dangerous place, a lot of infection. You have heard of nosocomial infection, that is one of the most dreaded things. You come for a simple problem, you go back with multiple problems and you may die because of the dreaded nosocomial infection because all the drugs, the bugs are very, very resistant. So it is very simple, some tests you can do, HIV is a test which is a bit guardedly, we won't they don't allow you to do unless you send it to a near lab. The concept is within six hours, you as a practitioner, a general practitioner, should get the diagnosis in your hand. The report should be available to you within six hours. Anything beyond six hours is not a point of care test. So the patient should be able to wait, take the full diagnosis, full treatment, and then go home. It doesn't have to come back many times because you lose case to. People get a bit okay and they go off and they don't know that it is a complicated condition. So, what are the objectives of uh, point of care testing, the historical? Actually, it is it was there in olden times. If you remember, there was a thing called clinical side room. In a lot of wards in earlier times, this used to be where hemoglobin, TLC, DLC, some peripheral smears used to be seen. Then that concept went off and it became the lab in the hospital. And in places where you are out treating in your private clinics, you don't know where to uh, send the sample, you have to send it to a lab, where transportation is a problem, the samples get spoiled during transportation. All the factors have been kept in mind and that is why this uh, concept of point of testing care has come. So, is it clinically relevant? Is it cost effective? What are the currently available microbiology point of care tests? and advantages and disadvantages of microbiology POCT. So, if you define point of care testing, what it is? It's very clear, patient specimens assayed at or near the patient with the assumption that the test result will be available instantly or in a very short time frame to assist caregivers with immediate diagnosis and or clinical intervention, triage, referral, workup, Discharge. So, as a GP, it's extremely crucial. You know what the diagnosis is. If you feel it's a complicated thing, you refer him. You can ask him for workup. You've got a clear uh, image of what the patient is suffering from. If you can't find out, then you refer the patient. But majority of your patient should get a proper diagnosis within one to six hours. And with technology, earlier you have heard of pregnancy tests people used to do at home. These are the primitive tests that were done. So it remained at pregnancy test or some ultrasound. Ultrasound has now come up. You can carry carry an ultrasound portable machine and get your report. ECG people do. As a GP, you can do ECG. You can do portable uh, ultrasound and blood tests. So we will not talk of the imaging part. I am more concerned with all the important tests that you can do. More so related to microbiology, but otherwise important are these uh, electrolytes, you are very keen to know what is, the, what is the status of his electrolytes. 
So now kids are there which are become very refined that will give you very accurate diagnosis. If you know the uh, electrolytes, you know the PCO2 and the uh, gaseous status of the patient. Intra-arterial was earlier you have to put a inter interventional, you have to put a catheter inside. Now they are non-invasive uh, gadgets that tell you straight what is the oxygen status. So if you keep some of these basic equipment with you in your practice chamber or employ just one person to do the tests and ensure that this point of care testing is that it improves the quality of your practice. But and patients a lot of time hassle, they'll tell you you are hospital man do it. So you can you may feel at times that you're not giving the right diagnosis or you're not able to know kya hai. Hepatitis immediately test can be so many conditions are there which you should be able to treat and take care right from your point of interaction with the patient. So the important points are it is near the patient, it is rapid. This turnaround time is a very crucial factor. We work in the lab, now for NABH, they ask what is your turnaround time. And as a practitioner, you want there. Tumko Birada Bharati may test. दो दिन तक तो तुम्हें रिजल्ट लेके नहीं आया मुझे सुबह बोला टेस्ट दोपहर तक चाहिए रिजल्ट इफ यू आर वर्किंग समवेयर अराउंड आवर हॉस्पिटल यू शुड गेट योर रिपोर्ट्स विद इन 6 आवर्स बाय द टाइम द पेशेंट इन द इवनिंग यू हैव टू हैव योर डायग्नोसिस एट लीस्ट हीमोग्लोबिन टीएलसी डीएलसी यूरिन आरई ये सब इफ यू डोंट वांट टू डू इट इन योर चेंबर बट अदरवाइज विद इन 6 आवर्स पेशेंट मस्ट बी डायग्नोसिस then you have the impact on clinical management. Very important. You don't do blunderbuss therapy. Antibiotics de diya, some other treatment de diya, ye bhi ho sakta hai, wo bhi de diya. That hodgepodge treatment won't be there. You know it is a viral infection, paracetamol, bed rest, fluids, and relax. If you've got a viral, you don't have any other bacterial infection. TLC normal hai, you know that there is no bacterial infection. Why should I give antibiotics? I don't to explain that to the patient. Yeah, I've got your results here. Evidence-based medicine. This is to help evidence-based medicine. Even legally, you've got report in your hand when you're given some treatment. So, earlier there used to be this clinical side room. Then it came to centralized laboratory testing. And now we are back to point of care testing. See, this is a conflict we have in healthcare. Earlier, now, patient care is shifting from inpatient in hospital as much as you can treat in outpatient, health center or at home. Reverse trend. Abroad, everywhere they want you to stay at home and get treated. When you are old, you come to the hospital, you will pick up some resistant infection, simple uh, hernia operation, you have picked up surgical site infection, sepsis and die. I have seen it many times happening. They put a catheter, they put an IV and you've got a chance. The moment you start an IV, you've got a chance of getting intravascular infection. People, we of course definitely try not to, but there's a chance. And old people, you'll say, yeah, treat karo yaar. Kya hospital leke jayega? Kitta go hai, we have to look after him in hospital, you can't stay in hospital. At least home may, he feels better, he can recoup faster. So the trend is, you, it is shifting backwards. Earlier, lab samples, from home, healthcare center, outpatient used to come to the inpatient. That means in the hospital. So you want to take, give the care to the patient at home, you want to send the samples to the hospital. So it's a conflict. So to resolve this conflict, they have said it's much better to do the testing also in the outpatient or the healthcare center or at home. This healthcare center means your private chambers if you have or a government primary health center or even if you are at home and your uh, practice chamber is nearby, it is good enough. Report should come within six hours. That is the time limit for point of care. So, in communicable diseases, the idea is this is the rapid detection test, rapid diagnostic test. You are very familiar with malaria. I am sure a lot of you use the malaria rapid test to see whether it's falciparum or vivac. That became popular long back and still holds ground. You don't have to wait to send to the hospital, jana, abhi, leke jayega, 
everybody is working, he has to take leave to take his children or somebody home, I mean to the hospital, spend the full day, then take the report, all that lafra comes in. So, to help the patient and yourself, they come to your practice chamber, take a bottle, take, uh, drop of blood, tell them wait karo, in two minutes you know it is falciparum or vivac, immediate treatment they diya. You are sure of your diagnosis, you have not missed falciparum, other two days the report nahi aega, tab tak falciparum can cause cerebral malaria. You then know it is dengue, dengue ka test hai, chicken dunia ka test hai, all these tests are now easily available for you to undertake. So these are rapid diagnostic tests in the community, even in the healthcare centers they allow rapid diagnostic tests. In a country like ours, you know the status of primary health center, it is improving. I think Maharashtra has got one of the best health center setups compared to UP, Bihar and all that. This is much better where the chap is there, a technician is there, he can do the rapid diagnostic test and support the doctor. Then as you come to the district level, you can do the nucleic acid testing. Of course, this is not happening in India, but abroad PCR, now machines of PCR, when nucleic acid testing can be done, especially for tuberculosis. Even in Maharashtra, this, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Gen, uh, uh, there's a machine which is now being given to all primary health centers for nucleic acid testing of tuberculosis. Uh, gene expert. Gene expert is now being given to all primary health centers. So that is one classic example where nucleic acid test has come to the district level. You don't want the patient now from the village to come to BJ Medical College and get the test done. You can get it done there, you're sure, and you start your ATT on the spot. So in, and in a case like tuberculosis, he'll take 10 days to go there, abhi time nahi hai, chutti leke deke ka. And then in the meanwhile, he's, he's an open case, he's spreading the disease. So all those risk factors are there. And of course, in special uh, centers and special labs, you can do point of care testing. Even in the hospital, they say that you should do a lot of tests in the ward. Why send it to the lab? The clinician says, the moment I say that sample will be lab, mein bhejo test hoga. nurse has to take the sample. It has to be delivered, mama, moshi. It goes there, it goes downstairs, then it comes up. We then examine it. By the time the result goes, the next day goes. So a lot of hospitals feel that it is like in old days. Have a clinical side room. Tell your resident or and junior doctor to take the sample and just do the test and tell me whether it's malaria, dengue or whatever it is. Tests to diagnose infection have to move to the front line. Since we are from the army, the front line is where the patient is. That is the place where the war is taking place. You have to help the clinician. Clinician is fighting the germs and the bacteria in the wards, on the bed. And you have to help this guy right there and then. That is the idea that as fast as possible, give him the support. He don't worry, you're on the right track. This is the infection and this is how it can be treated. So the point of care test ordered, specimen obtained, analyze, finish and three steps. Immediately. But while in a centralized lab, in the hospital or in some place which is 10 kilometers away from your practice, Kemba, test is requested, specimen is obtained, specimen is transported, specimen is processed by the lab, analyzed, result reviewed by lab staff, reported to the clinician, and then the clinician acts on the results. So you see the difference when you send the sample to the lab and the time taken vis a -vis what you do on the spot. This is what the world wants now, no time. No time to lose. And people are reluctant. Old people, most important patient clientele we have. Life longevity has increased. You can't take your brother, father, mother, in a, you hire a taxi. If you don't have your own gadi, auto me, lita ke le jao, test karo. Who will come? We want that they should be there and you do the test there. So benefits of turnaround time. Evidence-based medicine decision in real time. You're actually getting the result within minutes. Eliminates need for ordering unnecessary tests. When you have done for malaria, dengue, you don't require anything else to be done. Ye bhi kar do, pura hi test kar lo, kuch bhi ho sakta hai, all that goes off. 
you have got a tentative provisional diagnosis of that base, you do this, sorry. Reduction in unneeded medications. So you don't have to give him an antibiotic and all that and wait and then seek a diagnosis and then give it. If you know it's dengue, you will not give unnecessary antibiotics and medicine. Decreases in physician switching. So by the time result the fever is not going, you have got no clue, the patient goes to somebody else who immediately gives him steroids and everything and puts his fever down. Very common, rivalry. Achha, usne ye nahi diya. Chal, main tere ko steroid bhi deta hu, ye deta hu, all that extra vitamins de deta hu, and he switches doctor. But if you explain to him, ki I've got your diagnosis, I've done your test, you've got this disease, don't worry, you'll be okay, it's fine. Perceived patient benefits. So, outcome of point of care testing, this is the benefits of it is, faster decision making, evidence based, curtails empirical antibiotic therapy. As you know, the world is totally anti-antibiotic. And all of you are requested, please give antibiotics after much thinking, scientifically based. Otherwise, we are reaching a catastrophic end where resistance will increase and we'll have no alternative. Even in the status of antibiotic resistance in a hospital, cholestin resistant is coming out, vancomycin resistant, linozolid resistant. Kephalosporins to hai hai, carbapenem resistant. So if these bacteria emerge more and more because of the pressure of using them, we'll have no solution at the end and people will die of sepsis without any uh, help from any of the antibiotics. So curtail antibiotic, it curtails antibiotic therapy because you've got a diagnosis. If it's viral, early treatment. As I told you, the cutoff for point of care testing is one to six hours. You may not do it in your lab, but you must have a lab which is a short distance away. It's a transportation kai thoda problem hai. But you should get your report within six hours, not next day. Reduces morbidity and mortality, reduces complications, patient satisfaction, empowerment. If people feel confident here. If any of you have got suffered from fever, first thing you want to know what type of fever is it? Viral, viral fever. But there must be some evidence of viral fever. Blood test karke, you know, PLC count is with the normal, then you know by and large it is viral fever. Eliminates unnecessary costs and tests and medications and early detection of outbreaks. You can get the idea. You have got three patients of typhoid in your chamber. In your practice, you know there is some lafra going on here. Kaan khaya hai? Where do you stay? So, you warn the hospital or the public health ki char paanch cases Two days mein aagi hai, typhoid ka, jara, have a look what is going on. Cholera you can detect like that. Hepatitis, hepatitis E, very important, it's always an outbreak. I remember when we were in Chandigarh once, I had five jawans, ek saath, hepatitis E aaya. I told the, my community medicine chaps, garbar hai, and sure enough, they were from the same regiment, they were eating in the same cookhouse, and then we found, that the water pipeline and the sewage pipeline had got leaking. So the sewage pipe, uh, liquid was going into the water pipeline. Immediately that cookhouse was sealed, this place was dug up, the pipes were changed and we prevented. But by that time, 15 people had got hepatitis. Please remember, the moment you get hepatitis E, it is always explosive. It comes in huge numbers and you will be the first ones to get an idea. After doing these tests, hepatitis A nahi hai, B nahi hai, C nahi hai, think of hepatitis E. Hepatitis E ka kids utna asani se milta nahi hai, but when you get three negatives, you know that this is it. Please remember the largest hepatitis E epidemic took place in Ahmedabad. And you won't believe that there were ten doctors who died because it was in the hospital there was a problem. And the professor of medicine, his son was a resident, he died from hepatitis. It was one of the biggest, that time they didn't know, this was about 20 years back. But now when they look back and test the sample, they realize it was hepatitis E. Even in Delhi, there was been a huge outbreak of some 300 people, hepatitis E. So, like that you can detect early outbreaks by doing the test rather than waiting. Why decrease, eliminates this transportation? Transportation is very good. We in the lab, we know. It is lying dirty, it has got broken while transportation. 
the man who's carrying it is unpar in a way he doesn't know ulta rakh diya usko serum nikal gaya dry ho gaya swab bheja hai apne so all that useless you can't do anything after that the result will never come in time elimination of specimen transport and processing time see how much time you take for transport this color shows transport transport mein majority of the time is taking look at the time taken to analyze the test such short time but transportation blood gas sodium potassium hematocrit all this transportation is the limiting factor for delayed result now the technology has become so good that even small gadgets are available where you can find sodium potassium you can find the status of blood gases everything is available now so this becomes a very important factor that tells us that transportation is a limiting factor cost look beyond cost per test just cost effectiveness in the context of total cost of patient care it, because of the test you are doing you have to charge extra for that but you have to explain that this is better than asking you to go to pune getting admitted uska alag cost if you see that cost compared to that paying for a little extra test here and immediately getting the result is much more wiser much more effective and you will be treated at home you don't have to go to the hospital reduction in duplicate order test if you go uh, again to the hospital you might have to do the test again they'll say humko bahar ka test ka wo uh, accept nahi karta hai we want our own test to be done reduce consumption of other expensive products and decrease length of stay so your test stay also in the hospital because you already diagnosed suppose it's a complicated case you have diagnosed it but it starts from where you have left and the patient is treated faster now issues in the definition of uh, diagnosis this is a gray area where they have not clarified all over the world and people are still wanting to no privilege of particular technology or method is defined now you can have literal essays you can have you know uh, complement fixation test you can have immuno fluorescent test any technology but they have not specified it has to be only one particular technology it can be any technology that gives you immediate reliable result now the doubt comes in where they have not given a requirement of what reagents battery operated operator training these are again issues that has to be sorted out the person you have employed how much trained he should be should he be a dmlt chap bsc dmlt should he have worked in a hospital before these are criteria you can't employ a 12th class chap this is biology kya ki aaja tujhe yahi karna hai it should not be like that they have not defined that minimum qualification required for a person to do the test you might say i don't know i don't know anything about lab you are expected to either employ a person but how much of training is required is not there but what i feel that minimum dmlt because we teach dmlt and they do most of our work it's good enough if you have a young chap who's done his dmlt is good enough of competency and efficiency to do the test then when the battery operated or electric operated you may be a remote area it can be battery operated equipment you have all the equipment that is available today is alternately battery operated because you may not have electricity in all the remote area then process and workflow as important as the test itself you must have a sop that how the sample will be taken what test will be done how the lab quality is to be maintained those are important issues in poct it is not as straight and simple that i have told you but these have to be maintained is point of clinical contact essential no that you may have contact with the patient in your chamber but you can send the test to a place nearby as so long as you get the result within 6 hours so it's not mandatory that you have to employ somebody and do it in your lab you can do it somewhere very close by and tell the patient to wait or come back after 2 hours or 4 hours but within 6 hours is the right so within 6 hours you send it nearby do it yourself the choice is yours preferable but not required that means it is preferable that you do it in your chamber only so long as the testing is close enough 
and a system is in place for rapid reporting of results. So, this is what you have to understand. Like if you are all staying and operating in Bibbewadi area and Bharti can give you the result within 6 hours, it is still considered point of care test. Because within the evening or tell the champ, your dress will be there, I will finalize your treatment and tell you what to do. Then there are issues also about the test. Firstly, the sensitivity and specificity. Now, there are cases of false positive, false negative. This is there not only in rapid test, but in our normal ELISA also. We have cutoffs can be a bit different. So, you have to be careful about that. When you have doubt, then send the patient or the sample to the bigger lab. He is positive, but I don't think the patient is suffering from this. So, you have to be careful of that. If it comes false positive, then a lot of times you may feel, I have to recheck it. Then you send the sample on. But it will not happen frequently, it will happen in 10% of cases. Validation and quality control, this is important. In our country, what happens is, you will notice that kits, just to save money and, you know, make things sasta, you pick up kits made in a garage in Noida, Gurgaon, somewhere in Thane, Somebody who's got no quality control or sasta mein deta hai. Then the reliability goes down. There's nobody to check in our country. Kaun kya kar raha hai? People who are technicians in villages, they become pathologists and sign all reports. Chalta hai. Chalne do. Nobody to check. Similarly, kits. Kits are like that. You've got to be sure that the kit you're using in such things are checked and properly uh, quality control maintained. That is why we use good kits, which are standard companies, high media, span diagnostic. You have got to have, moment you start taking either udar ka company, because it is half the cost, because they don't maintain quality control, all this uh, lafra of wrong test will come and you will give. For hepatitis B, C and for HIV, please remember you have to be very, very sure. Because these uh, can label a patient for life. Treatment is not available easily and it has a lot of imp impact on the patient's psyche also and you know, emotions that I've got hepatitis B or HIV without being sure. Then you, uh, syndromic approach, you, you are not able to, fever ka full panel is there, a lot of times are there. You are not able to undertake the syndromic approach because you have to have your 1, 2, malaria, dengue, chikungunya, influenza. Now, kits are available where you can do the entire panel, but when you do it individually, you are not able to do the syndromic approach. So, clinician's limitation is up to a certain level of intervention. So, you have to judge that on your own confidence. doubt <laughs> Then you send the sample to the higher lab. Then, a lot of times you have problems of interpretation of the test. The line is vague. Uh, very faint, whether it should be considered positive or negative. In such a case, I would advise that please refer the case to a pathology lab where a pathologist is there and send that kit A. I am not able to interpret this. So, this is a, these are small, small issues that come up in point of care testing. Majority of the time, cases it will not happen. In, now, though, uh, by software, they have got informatics. All mobiles in abroad are being communicated. You take down a app. app. Now they say na, app download kiya ki nahi, app. There are laboratory diagnostic applications which you download on your mobile. And then the communication with the remote or the other lab can occur. Where you send a sample, it does the test and immediately puts it on your mobile and you get the result. So and so power has got blood sugar itta. So, Within uh, a matter of hour, the results is with you. Now, these are the infections which can be diagnosed by point of care tests, approved all over the world. Number one is, of course, HIV. You can do the viral load and CD4 count also now. Kits are available that can, you can undertake these tests. Viral load is very important in HIV. And CD4 count kya CD4 count, that is the 200, 400, you know, 200 is niche hai, isko to sida hospital. No chance, he will not pull through. Or, he is taking treatment, he wants to know whether I will improve or not. 
Of course, malaria is the oldest point of care test that we are doing. Please continue using that and treat. Moment you have falciparum, immediate treatment. If the patient is okay, treat him at home only. Now, sepsis. This is a condition, very dicey. Because you know old people, fever, low BP, tachycardia, tachypnea. Four vital parameters. Dekhliana, your thing should be early sepsis. Cause no other fever, leukocytosis, tachypnea, tachycardia. Combination is fit and the patient is looking ill. Now there are kids where you can find out whether it is gram negative, septicemia or not. Moment it is there, you can start a high end antibiotic. And tell the party ki, look, patient is serious. Lejana hospital to lejao, but otherwise this case requires hospital treatment. So you're sure, you're confident ki, you're not sending back somebody home who's really seriously ill. Then you have dengue, syphilis, hepatitis, salmonella. These are the viruses you can use kits now to do point of care testing. You can test for MRSA and ESBL bacteria. These are the resistant bacteria, methicillin resistant staph aureus, extended spectrum beta lactamase. You can check for group streptococcal infection, sore throat and all in children because their sequelae is pretty bad. So you must diagnose them early. These are like some of the point of care tests available in the market where you can use in your chamber. Influenza, mononucleosis. Pinworm, gram stain, you've got kids also where you just have to put one drop of the uh, stain and you will get a good gram stain to see. So, we have done this. Other common infections that you can test is typical pharyngitis, helicobacter, HIV and uh, skin. Like you've got uh, people with dermatophy, uh, lesions, skin lesions. You want to know whether it's dermatophytes or not. So, there also these easy to do tests are there. Whether you know it is trichophyton or microsporum or it's a fungal infection of what variety. Then according to that you give voriconazole or local or uh, antifungal and things. Then ladies coming with problems of discharge. You can do these tests very close by. I don't have to wait because again the patient, a lot of ladies can't leave housework and they're cooking. And then say you tell them you go to a hospital which is far away. They'll say forget it. Yeah. Jo dena idhar hi de do. Humko jane ka time nahi hai. Hold the fry. That is the time you do point of care test by doing these tests right under your guidance. Like example I'm giving you of streptococcal pharyngitis. Very important when children come to a pediatrician or even to a, any general practitioner. Now most pharyngitis you, you know that it is viral in origin. But in children, it's a different thing. You have to be very careful that you don't miss out group A streptococcal infection. Because this leads to rheumatic heart disease and glomerulonephritis. Adults may think, you don't have viral airbos, don't worry. You just do gargling, paracetamol and take chutti for two days, you'll recover. But for children, you have to rule out this organism. So, Difficult to distinguish streptococcal and non-streptococcal. So, like see, on the gram stain, you can see the uh, gram-positive cocci and chains. This is when it grows on culture. Now, this is what we want to stop. A lot of children miss out on that. A lot of children suffer in our country. So much of rheumatic heart disease, mitral stenosis, mitral uh, regurgitation and stuff like that. When they grow up and they realize they have some infection, probably I didn't treat it properly. But it's your responsibility that you don't miss. And it's a very simple kit that will tell you group A streptococcal infection. One, it is negative, you can relax. But out of 100 such, you get two cases, that is also good enough. That you have picked up two cases and given them high dose of penicillin and treated them well. Prevents transmission of those strains because these strains which cause infection are of particular kind. They'll be found in a certain area at a point of time. See, the gold standard is culture. It takes 48 hours for us to give you a report. Too late. Rapid antigen tests are these. POCT and this immunoassay. So these are rapid tests, easily done and you give. And of course PCR in foreign countries, they do the PCR also. 
which is done now very easily. In a study they did and same day treatment in 90% of cases and they prevent these complications in children in a big way. Their rates of rheumatic heart disease and nephritis is much, much lower because they pick it up early. Uh, compared to clinical judgment, another study was done. This is 90, of course, very far behind. But they found the very good results by rapidly doing the test. Antibiotic prescribing patterns change when rapid tests used. Obviously, if you are finding negative, you know it is not a deadly bacterial infection. You don't give antibiotic to a child. Antibiotic in children is a very, very, again, dangerous thing. Complications are much more unless you are hitting the enemy in the right way. And you know that enemy is there, group A, streptococci. Then only it's worth it. Other the antibiotic is killing all the normal good flora and making the child vulnerable to more infection. Physicians initiated treatment with positive result and waited for culture before initiating treatment with negative result. So both ways. If you get a positive result, you start the antibiotic. If you get a negative result, you continue with what you have given antibiotic. Reduce inappropriate antibiotic usage. Reduce unnecessary cost and antibiotic exposure. So advantages result in five minutes. Please explore the market, get good kits and keep it handy in your chamber. You will really be beneficial and your clientele will increase 10 times. Everybody says, Udhar jau to pura test, vest, karke, dawai, deke, bhezta hai ghar. Idhar udhar refer nahi karta hai. Because, that, <laughs> I'll come to the disadvantages. Uh, clear endpoints. Things to remember, verification of tests, again, culture, culture, all negative tests, if you are still doubtful. And at disadvantages, sensitivities are lower than what companies claim. This you will gradually realize when using a certain kit. Then there's helicobacter infection. As you know, this is the organism that is cause of peptic ulcer. So peptic ulcer is no longer just acid and uh, indigestion, but there is a definite bacteria that causes the disruption of the gastric mucosa and causes peptic ulcer. So, you can, and there's whole, up to 50% of the world's population is infected by helicobacter. But you don't know when it will start getting activated, depending on the acid and the enzymes present, the environment present, it increases. How irregularly you have food, you have late night food, these organisms then find the environment and cause peptic ulcer. Tension releases much more high concentration of acid compared to anything else. So pathology, it lives under protective mucus layer, acute gastritis, chronic active gastritis. These are the conditions that occur because of helicobacter. And as I told you, mucus secretion, acid secretion, tension. So it can lead to duodenal ulcer, it can lead to lymphoma, gastric ulcer, gastric carcinoma. So helicobacter is now known as the culprit, the pathogen that does all this. This is how the bacteria looks like. And by silver stain, you can see the bacteria lost in the gastric mucosa. Yeah. So, you can detect it by antibody detection of helicobacter. Easy kit available. IgM, only say, you know, this bacteria is now actively coming to the body and it is causing the disease. You can do a breath test. There is a test by which urease enzyme is produced by helicobacter. It converts urea into ammonia. And that can be detected in the breath. Like you have alcohol testing mechanism. Similarly, urea breath test is there. And you know that helicobacter infection is there. You can detect the organism in the stool also. And use a kit. Otherwise, see what happens in the hospital. He will undergo biopsy. He has go histopathology examination. And culture. All these will increase his cost 50 times. Compared to what you have quickly done, treated him, sent him home, told him to follow diet carefully, and he's a happy man. With much, one-fourth the cost of what all this will cost him. But final result was chahiye na? He is being treated, and you know it is helicobacter pylori. These are some of the kits that are approved by the world body, and these are the serology kits for an IgM and IgG. And these are the uh, other tests that can be undertaken.
this urea plus water, ureas enzyme by bacteria causes ammonia and ammonia causes change in color of the strips that are there in the skin. Again results in 15 minutes to 24 hours, all the tests that we mentioned and there is potential of false negative. Sometimes you may still get negative tests, you still feel clinically it is there, so you can treat the patient. Now comes to HIV infection, this is the basics of HIV, you know it's a retrovirus, it's got strands of DNA, these are the enzymes, the GP41 and the T24 is the antigen that we are looking for. You can look for the antigen or the antibody. Please remember that all the ELISA and the diagnosis that we do, 90% are based on antibody detection, which is by ELISA and the different strategies are there. But when somebody comes and is suspicious of HIV, they say, I might be having HIV and is very much tense, you can suggest. But the only thing about is, the, uh, in the window period, ask for only T24 antigen. There are kits available, but I told you it's a very risky thing. You must have a good quality control laboratory. Because of the sensitivity of the test result, you must send it to a bigger lab to do it. You can now, of course, from saliva also you can detect HIV. There is a kit available for instant diagnosis like pregnancy. A lot of people abroad because of their uh, sexual condu conduct, they also have this kit where like pregnancy test, they do a saliva, saliva test. It gives you a rough idea, nothing confirmed, not acceptable HIV diagnosis on that. But whenever there is doubt and you have got it, you must go to a, a, a bigger lab to do it. Serum derived fluid enters saliva from gingival crevices contains antibody. Can be used for enzyme immunoassay or broad western blot. Even urine uh, is a uh, sample, but not commonly used. Please don't get it done here. It's not yet approved. But in HIV, please remember pre and post test counseling. HIV report is never given to a patient without counseling. As you have heard many stories in Bombay and other places, Moment people have got a report and positive, he goes and jumps off and commits suicide. Very common on people who are not educated, they get so upset. And HIV has been made into such a disease that everything is connected with sexual encounter that socially you are, you know, looked down upon if you have HIV. There's nothing like that. You can get it from blood transfusion. People working in a healthcare setup can get it by needle stick injury. So many other options are there. And now HIV is very, very well treatable. And drugs are coming up where you did not fear that everybody will going to die immediately. So all those factors have to be understood. This is one test by OraQuick. This is that uh, by taking saliva and doing the test. This has been approved. Hello, this test has been approved. It's uh, other strict tests have been waived off in America. It's uh, available in our country also. These are the other tests that can be done for HIV, but I have told you, HIV is a tricky area. Always give it to somebody else to undertake. Then for in HIV cases, you require to again do in pregnancy, whether the lady has got HIV status, kya hai. you want to know that. Again, this has to be, uh, can be done in remote areas, whether the patient has HIV or not, can be undertaken by the rapid test. And the turnaround time is about 45 minutes. These are settings are STD clinics, HIV counseling centers and emergency departments. Advantages, rapid results, you can do counseling yourself and give the results. And disadvantage, must confirm positive results. Never give it on what you have done. You have done the test, kits are available. You got positive, but tell him that I will, uh, your result will be counter checked. And we may have to do a second test before you give positive. But negative, you can tell ki it's negative and there is no problem. But positive or doubtful positive, you must double check. Because in our hospital also, when we get one sample positive, we ask for the second sample. HIV is never given report on one test. Please remember, a lot of confusion can take place, a lot of discrepancy, test, which has so much of ramifications. You need to do that. Now, HIV, of course, as I told you, we've done that. Can a central lab give you adequate TAT? Depends 
where it is, how far it is, and how much of transportation time it takes. So, based on that, suppose you are in a far away place, further away from the city limits. Now, you have to adjust that. If your lab is far away, which will take more than six hours, so you get the result is not worth it. You must have your own set up, or at least do the tests, which are easily doable. Training and proficiency, you can also, when you are starting to do your uh, EOCTs in your setup, you can come into a lab and get, understand all the kits that you will be using. Keep in touch with the lab. Okay, I'll be doing these POCTs. Just tell me if there is anything that I should know specifically or I have doubt I can tell you. So that clarification is there for you also at the earliest. And if you can have a look at a microscope, nothing like it, and look for the basic things in stool and blood for parasites and things like that. So WHO has given you a certain criteria why POCTs are so important and good. It should be affordable, it should be sensitive, specific. These are goals that will be achieved and gradually, let me tell you, in the last five, six years, test kits are becoming so efficient, their sensitivity, specificity have improved drastically. But please take well-established kits. The moment you start taking and see Sasta hai and from Noida, Gurugaon and Thane, then you will, you are asking for trouble. You will get all ulta pulta results which will have a detrimental effect on the patient. It should be user friendly. That means not too complicated for you to use. Take drop of blood, like glucose testing we all do at home now. Glucose testing is the classical POCT test that set up the, you know, idea that we can do many more tests like that. We know we put that strip, put a drop of blood, exactly like that. Now all these infectious diseases can be diagnosed so fast and easily. Equipment, it should not be too much of complicated equipment then you will not buy. It should be within, you know, four, five thousand ke andar agar sab mil jaye, nothing like it. The result should be easily delivered. Additional criteria, it should be independence from training, specimen preparation and infrastructure. These are the impediments of POC. You can't do it if you have too much of all this. Training karna hai, lafda chahiye, laminar flow chahiye, AC chahiye. If you have too much of all this, fir to bhul jau POC. These are the types of POCTs. You have, these are various types of immunoassays. Agglutination, immunochromatography, immunofiltration. You did not uh, go into depth, but you get an idea that there are different kits around different principles. So first generation are the rapid diagnostic tests, like I told you for malaria, pregnancy tests, dipstick. These are the first generation. Second generation are cartridge based. Now you can see cartridge base has become so small. You can do nucleic acid, PCR tests on this. It will detect all the nucleic acids. So, now you can do all the viral conditions also on test on these kind of handheld devices. See, these are the third generation handheld devices and mobile based technology. You download the application, do the test and you send the result, uh, the test result to the lab. They will interpret it and give you the result within minutes like any mobile we have today, like WhatsApp. Exactly like that you will get the information up and down. Just the device is connected to the app and it will convey the result to the central lab or the bigger lab wherever the company sets it up. So these are the various uh, kits that are there. You see the bands here. So you have to, it is crystal clear. No rocket science here. You got a band clear, no band negative. If you want to do second generation, third generation, it is connected to your mobile and the results go there. And the results come back. The information goes there and the results come back to you on your mobile. So this is the gene expert car. You just take a sample of sputum and put it into that mug and put the cart put it into a cartridge and put it into the machine. Go and have chai and come back and your you will know whether it's tuberculosis or not. Tuberculosis has become so easy. That's why the government of Maharashtra has picked up this gene expert in a big way and said all our health centers will get it. We don't want tuberculosis patient from the village to be hanging around in the city, waiting, gharni hai, rehne ka sab bandobas nahi hai, then treatment ka hai. He meets the doctor there only at his village level or primary health center and starts treatment. Device do not define POCT. The very simple equipment will be a POCT. 
You did not have high profile equipment. Chota sa handheld device, microscope, these literal immunoassays, all these are also POCT. So don't be overwhelmed. I need so much equipment, so much camera, I need to do this, I need to do that, centrifuge, nothing like that. Easiest. So device doesn't define POCT. It is the core you have to understand the patient should get the result within six hours. And I should know what he is suffering from. That is the punchline. Whatever technology you use. Restrictions to use in labs and hospitals. There are certain restrictions for, of course, bigger tests and complicated tests, but uh, infrastructure is required, temperature control. All these are the other hassles that are there that uh, need not be undertaken in POCT because these the hospitals have to undertake. End user do not define POCT, does not automatically define a POCT. The end user, these are the tests that can be done in the POCT. As I already told you, rapid diagnostic test kit. End user plus setting and purpose, they vary. You may use it for different purposes, triage, referral. Moment you get the case of tuberculosis confirmed by gene expert or this, you then refer him to a consultant or a chest specialist for further management. So, in the home, this is the levels of uh, POCT that can be undertaken in different setup. One is at home, simple test, HIV like this is using saliva. This is of course the example they have given. We use rapid detection, malaria and all come in the second setting community. One is at home, one is at community, one is at an outpatient, one is in a peripheral lab, smaller lab and finally in the hospital where you do the complicated test to rule out all MRSA and ESBLs and you know, go into depth about HIV cases, complicated malaria. But other, the equipment and the kits available vary from what you can use at home, community, outpatient, peripheral lab, and then at the hospital level. So I told you, in a hospital also there's a POCT in the wards. Side room of the ward, you can do the test rather than send the sample to the uh, central lab. Why POCT is not used in POC, point of care? Because of use of empirism in clinical practice and infrastructure and support staff, these are the reasons why POCT is not picking up in our country. And of course, professional exclusivity, the insufficient uh, referral fees and incentives, biggest deterrent in our country, biggest. Lab will say, we will die, 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 but you have to Look at the broader picture. My concept is as fast as possible. Because he, he gives you extra money. He charges how much more money over there to loot the patient. You see from that point of view, in a country like ours, patient to bimar hone se to aaj bhagawan ko bolta yaar aap hi bachao, main to loot gaya, kahi ka nahi raha. We know, because we know hemoglobin, how much it takes to cost and how much it charge. In smaller labs, it is Ram Rajya. Because you could have done it and known that the cost is so little, I can just charge that much and immediately treat the patient. There is no delay. So these are various factors which have to be in our country that has to be regulated to make it affordable and referral fees, insufficient treatment ability, investment in post-test counseling and what will be the impact on hospital labs. But since it is successful abroad and patients don't have to run around big hospitals, they are treated at home or in Chloris Center in UK and things like that where they, uh, you know, the, uh, this kind of a concept is working very well. Patients are happy. We know that when our parents who are old and fall ill, your very first headache, kahan leke jao, utha ke lao ambulance, ye karo, wo karo. You pay a GP extra, he'll come home, do the test, take the ECG, do the blood gas analysis, everything and then tell you this is what the status is, this is how you status of your is worth, we can treat here. If you want, you can go to the hospital, depending on this. So everything is done at one day. Like in old days, the doctor used to come home and domi uh, domiciliary treatment. That is what people want today. And we would encourage, as I told you, coming to hospital is increasing the risk of complication. The future, handheld devices, as I told you, this has all become a reality, by the way, now. Array-based detection of nucleic acids, very, very specific. Biosensors are there. 
you got this deal expert already i told you just put the sputum into the cup and that's it and next generation sequencing these are terminologies that we will be more comfortable with but this is the future is very very bright and very very compatible very patient friendly but you have to be the judge that i want my report as fast as possible affordable and i get evidence based report which is good enough to treat the patient these are various devices like the like cell phones as i told you all these will give you such amount of information you just need not go to a hospital lab anymore but do the test from where you are the technology itself doesn't does not define or determine use at poc successful use of at poc is what defines the diagnostic purpose how quickly you can give him the report it's a testing program rather than just a test so only if you can help the patient is it worth it so as you see the same concept it keeps going to the home we want it to be at home level so if you uh, in conclusion the patient is there you have the caregiver the user the device turn around time and the tests that are being done all these together will give you the point of care testing as a viable tool to treat patients so conclusion decide first if the test is needed what test is needed and what you can do yourself to give a proper diagnosis to treat the patient so we are back at point of care testing as you can see patient at home only and you are diagnosing it over there this cartoon explains it you just diagnose everything there where he is lying but it is not like that within 6 hours if you get a report it's good thank you thank you for your patient hearing